section of the bridge deck in place. Looking good, Wendy. Okay, Leo, you can start tightening the cable. Sure thing, Bob. Uh, yeah. Uh. Well done, Leo. The cable is supporting the bridge deck now. Thanks, Lofty. You can let go now. Should I go and get the fourth section now? Yes, please, Lofty. And can you find out where Scoop is? He's supposed to be bringing us more cable. Will do. Uh... Scoop? <laughs> what are you staring at? Oh, hello, Lofty. Um, I'm looking at the river. Leo's been trying to frighten me with stories about fish being in there. But fish do live in rivers. Maybe in the countryside, but not in a big city river like the Coil River. I don't think Leo would make it up. Well, once I've delivered this cable to Bob, I'm going to take another look. Just to make sure. Oh. More cable coming up. Got the next piece of deck for you, Bob. Thanks, Lofty. Can you take it to the end of the bridge, please? Okay. <sighs> Lofty, will you be all right to wait here while Bob, Leo, and I get a drink of water? Sure thing, Wendy. No problem. Thanks, Lofty. <sighs> hey, Lofty! There aren't any fish at all. Be careful of the water, Scoop. I'm not afraid of water. Look! Oh! Oh, it's water! Oh, no! Oh! Uh-oh! What is it? I think there's something in my rear bucket. Uh... It's a fish. Leo was right all along. Is it a big one with a gigantic mouth full of ugly teeth and spikes down its back? Well, I don't like to be rude. But yes. Ah! Help me! Help me! Help me! Looks like we'll finish the bridge just in time for the race. Who do you think's gonna win? I don't know, but Sky Samson wins it most years. <laughs> Come on, let's get back to work, or there'll be no bridge to run across at all. Whoa! Get it out! Whoa! <gasps> ah! Get it out! Fish! Get out! It's flopping around! Watch out, Scoop! Slow down! Whoa! Oh, it looks perfect. Eh? Hey. And it sounds just terrible. Uh. Oh, Leo. What happened, Leo? Well, Scoop mixed the keys up when he moved them. Huh? I told you I needed that diagram. You said you knew all about music, Leo. You shouldn't pretend to know something when you don't. Well, at least I know the difference between the black keys and the white ones. <gasps> OK, OK, you two. Time out. Mm. <sighs> Will I have to cancel my special guest, Bob? No, no, you won't have to do that. Leave it with us, Roland. Are you sure? We're certain. <sighs> Now, without blaming each other, what really happened? I got a bit carried away when Roland asked me to put the keyboard together. I thought I knew more about music than I do. Sorry, Wendy. Sorry, Bob. But you had the diagram to follow. The keyboard looked like a big jigsaw, so I didn't think we needed it. I'm really sorry, too. Didn't you know that some keys look the same but sound different? We do now. And every key has a special position it needs to be in to play its note properly. Can you find the diagram, Scoop? Yes, Bob. Look, all the keys are numbered underneath. I found it. Good work, Scoop. So all we have to do is follow the diagram. Oh, Bob, we can do this. We really can. But first, we have to tell Roland we're going to put it right. 
We're so sorry, Mr. Sweet. We should have followed your diagram. We'll do it properly this time. So I don't need to cancel my special guest? No. Are you gonna tell us who it is? Not yet, I don't want to spoil the surprise. But he'll be here in no time. So, can you fix my keyboard, please? Yes, yes we, we can! can. I should clear the cement first. Uh, Leo, look at the time. Oh, no. It's three o'clock. Bob is test driving the train, and it's coming to this station. <gasps> but the train can't drive over that. It has to be straight. The signals are all working and ready. And the train's ready, too. Let's get this test drive started. Trying to find my notes on what to do in an emergency. And when will the train get here? <gasps> now! Then do something! Quick! I... I can't! There's too much to think about! Come on, Leo. Focus! Okay. First, I need to stop the train. Proceed loud and clear. Applying brakes now. So sorry. I put the team in danger. All because I couldn't concentrate on one job at a time. You managed it in the end. And save the train! But what are we gonna do about the station and the track? There's just enough time before the train makes its first journey. So, can we fix it? Yes, we can! Yes, we can! Here in the harbor, we can use wave power to light the lighthouse. Amazing! Yes, Mr. Bentley, but... And on the end of the pier, more wind power to run the amusement arcade. That's interesting, but... And of course, we have bigger plans for Spring City itself. It's just that... Onward, Philip! As you wish, sir. Mr. Bentley... Bob? These plans are great, but... But? But maybe we should make sure the wind farm at the Sea Life Center works first. Oh. Yes, I suppose you're right. Better stick to the plan. Philip, back to the Sea Life Center, please. Certainly, sir. Easy does it, Lofty. So, that's the first row finished. Should we do the next row now? No, no, let's get these spinning around first. I want to surprise Bob. Can you take the brakes off, Leo? Okay, let's see how it goes. That doesn't look right. <gasps> oh, no! Bob, look! We 
I've been thinking ahead. Hang on a second. They're too close together. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. My lovely new turbines. I suppose I'd better inform the mayor of this little mishap. Oh, no! I broke the spinny things! Scoop. Oh, Bob. I wanted to make room for more spinny turbines in the future, so I got Lofty to move the foundations closer together. I said it was a bad idea. You should have stuck to the plan, Scoop. But I thought I was, you know, thinking ahead, like Mr. Bentley said we should. I'm so, so sorry, Bob. All right. The problem now is we only have three working turbines. They won't generate enough power for the Sea Life Center. And the mayor expects to switch over the wind power tonight. We need a new plan, Bob. If only we could use sun power instead of just spinny wind power. Uh, you mean solar power scoop? Oh, yeah. Just like at the zoo. Brilliant. That gives me an idea. But we'll have to hurry. Come on, team. Probably lost forever. Oh, no. Don't worry, Lofty. There must be a way to find him. The poor thing. He hasn't even had his lunch yet. <gasps> That's it. What's it? If it's the giraffe's lunchtime, he might come out if he sees some food. Good idea, Lofty. If you drive slowly around the zoo, He's bound to smell the food and come out to get some. Let's go. But go really slowly. I will, Bob. And quietly. Lofty, look! <gasps> oh, hello, Mr. Giraffe. Um, come and get some lunch. I've got some yummy, tasty leaves for you. It's working, Lofty. Oh, wow. Look at him. Isn't he great? Now we just need to lead him back to the enclosure. Okay, Bob. Okay, Lofty. Now just put the giraffe's food next to the viewing platform. Lofty. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> don't be silly, Ma. Put your lights on if you're scared. Huh? Oh. Ah. <gasps> <gasps> the creature! Don't be 
so silly. And please let go of my hand, both of you. I was just trying to make you feel safer. I think we should stay here till the lights have gone. Should I hold your hand, Leo? <laughs> <laughs> for home. I was so scared. Were you, Dizzy? Where is Dizzy? I thought she was behind you. So did I. We have to go back and look for her. Not on our own. It's too scary. We'll have to wake Bob up. Bob! Wake up! Bob! Now what? Wake up! Bob! We did something silly. And we've lost Dizzy! We're really sorry, Dizzy. We didn't realize you weren't with us until we got back to the yard. Are you okay, Dizzy? I'm fine. But he isn't. Aw, oh, he's hurt his leg. I'll take him to see Tilly the vet first thing. Can you look after him until then, Dizzy? I'd love to. He looked after me by eating all the creepy crawlies. Ew. <laughs> But what nobody knew is that something strange lurked in the woods. <gasps> then what happened, Leo? I can see a campfire! That must be Leo! It rumbled and grumbled in the darkness. Oh. It had eyes so big and bright they could blind you, and a cry so terrifying that it could turn your hair white overnight. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> don't be silly, Ma. Put your lights on if you're scared. Huh? Oh. Ah. <gasps> <gasps> the creature! Be so silly. And please let go of my hand, both of you. I was just trying to make you feel safer. I think we should stay here till the lights have gone. Should I hold your hand, Leo? <laughs> <laughs> Bob! Wake up! Bob! 
Now what? Wake up! Mom, we did something silly. And we've lost Dizzy! The tree is huge! The floor looks like ice. This display is going to be amazing! Hi, Lofty! Is that present for the display? No, Saffy. It's for Bob. Then I cannot wait to give it to him. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas! Now, Lofty, Bob and Leo are preparing the snow machines, so can you help me hang the tree lights? Of course. Oh, uh, um, I'll just put this present down first. Did you hear that? They're gonna use snow machines. Bob's present will be safe here, away from all the tools. Let's put the presents here, and then we can arrange them into a nice display around the tree. Okay, Scoop. How you doing there, Leo? Well, you said to prepare the snow, but I can't find any. Did it come in bags or ice packets? Oh, no! What if it's melted? Leo, we're going to use pretend snow, and we're going to make it in those machines. <laughs> wow! Can you show me, Bob? Uh, maybe after you tidy up these boxes. The tree lights are gonna look great, Wendy. Well, let's test them and see. <gasps> oh. Hey, Wendy, I'm about to start making the snow. Can you help me carry the bottles of liquid? Sure, I'm all finished here. Bob is here and the tree lights are twinkling. This is the perfect time to give him his Christmas present. Watch out, Lofty, you're ruining the display. But I'm trying to find... Lofty, you're in the way! No. Where is it? Oh, never mind, Bob's gone. I'll find it later. Come on, Mutt, let's finish the display. Is there snow yet? Not yet. Once the liquid is in, the machines need to be switched on. Ooh, then is there snow? Not quite. The machines stir up the liquid to make tiny white bubbles that stick together, and that makes the pretend snow. All done. Do you two want to go down and watch the snow fall over the tree? I'm gonna see it snow! <laughs> I think that's a yes from Leo. <gasps> oh no! Not more noises! <laughs> Who's there? Okay, no one. Only me. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Ah! If this doesn't make Bob jump, nothing will. Hey, Bob! <clears throat> Why don't you take a turn at this trail stop? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. What's this I found? A toffee apple! <laughs> Another treat! Wow! I don't get it! The spider was supposed to... Ah! Oh! 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 This entrance is gonna be cool! Ah! Looks like a ghost! What's going on? It's the ghost! It's the ghost! Huh? Oh no! <gasps> I done. 
Move out, team! Now! Uh-oh. Oh no! How am I gonna get it back? This is all my fault! I can help! work together. have a problem. The parachute is torn, and there isn't a spare. Stella can't go into space without her parachute. Otherwise, she won't be able to come back home safely. Hmm. <gasps> Bob, I think I know how to fix it. Lofty, really carefully, please. Well done, Lofty. Phew. Let's get over to Mission Control. Are we ready to launch? Yes! So, is Stella going to go up now? Is she? Oh, I can't wait! You just need to be patient, JJ. Here we go. All together. Ten, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, four, three, two, one! Stella. You can do it! Break the record, little rocket! Just hold it steady, Lofty. There. Done. One square frame to hold the giant TV. So what's next, Leo? Hmm. Let me check. Yoo-hoo, Lofty! You'll never guess what happened. I had a super-duper idea for me and the Spring City Rockets to make banners. But now we need your help to hang them. Oh, I would love to. Marvelous! Come this way. So, Lofty, next, I need your help to attach one, two supports to the back of the frame. Uh, Lofty? Where'd he go? 
Okay, I guess I can start building the support frames by myself then. Wow, look at the size of it. How big is the remote control? Actually, this TV doesn't have a remote control. My tablet will pick up a signal and send it to the TV. Then the TV show appears on screen. Wow. Here, let me show you. Have you forgotten your password again? Everyone knows that. It's, it's Builder, builder number, number One! Oh, Bob. Here, all the banners are hung. High five to that! Oh, uh, yes. Um, hi, uh, five. Thanks, Mayor Madison. You are so cool for thinking to make banners. Cool? Me? Well then, how about another super duper idea? We could have a popcorn machine. I'll call Chef Taddy if you would go get it, Lofty. You right go. Ahead. Can you help us, Lofty? Well, uh, Leo looks okay. So yes, of course I can help you. Go, Lofty! Woohoo! Ah, Lofty. Thank goodness. I'm having trouble holding the frames steady. I'll just have to finish the job by myself. I've not done too badly so far. Oh, I can't see Dash Lightning anywhere. Ah, Leo, can you help me put up the pyrotechnics? Pyro what? Pyrotechnics. We're going to use them to create the sparks for when Dash flies. Come on, I'll show you. <gasps> Wait! There he is! Dash Lightning! Yeah! Oh no, he's going! I just have to meet him! Okay, Leo. These are the pyrotechnic units. They light up and send sparks out. So how do we get them ready for filming the scene? If you look, all the pyrotechnic units are pointing up. That means the sparks will shoot up. If the units point downwards, it means the sparks would fall down onto the lights. And cause a fire. Exactly. But these units are all fine, so you can raise them up. There he is! Dash lightning! Dash lightning! Ouch! Muck? Dash oh, lightning! No. Slow down! Uh. Uh, sorry, Leo, but I'm looking for Dash Lightning. <sighs> Phew. They're all still pointing upwards. Dash, <laughs> pleased to meet you. Whoa! You've got a hammer and a chisel. Oh, I love anything to do with building. Look, Dash, you've got a crane. But you should see me, Dick. Dash, we have to go. Carl wants me to test your stunt harness. And I especially love diggers and cranes. Whoa! What a gym! Uh, this could take a while. Ow! Dash must be here somewhere. Hey, Muck! <gasps> can you help me? Uh, sure. What can I do for you? I need you to make sure that the lights on the pyrotechnic units are still green. If they turn red, it means something is wrong. No problem, Wendy. Hmm. Wendy! I can see green lights! And Dash Lightning! Wendy, I got a zoom! Got a boom! Yeah! Where did you put the box from the garage? The one with the metal figures inside? Oh no! I thought that box was. Uh, we took it to the recycling center. Uh oh. Does that mean our clock won't be ready in time? No, Safi, it will be ready. I'll just have to go to the recycling center and find the box. I'm coming too. It was me that took the wrong box after all. To the recycling center! Yippee! No. No. Uh, no. No. Ah, this looks 
like it. Oh. Oh, keep looking. Ah, here it is. Ugh. Oh, we'll never find it. There are so many boxes. And they all look the same. Everyone's asking when the clock will be ready, Bob. Will it be finished today? I promised, didn't I? Huh, of course it will. <sighs> we must have looked in every box. I've really let the Spring City Rockets down. I better call Bob and tell him we can't find anything. Mm. Oh, no. I've left my mobile at the yard. Oh, I remember putting it on top of the box with the figures in. That's funny. I know it wasn't there when I took the box. Are you sure, Leo? Yes, the lid was flapping. <gasps> Wait. Hold on. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes. Uh, what are you thinking? It's a long shot, but it's worth a try. What's worth a try? What's going on? Maybe, just maybe, my mobile phone fell into the box. Okay. <gasps> huh? Found it! Yeah! Yes! Oh, now I get it! <laughs> okay, Muck, we've got the right box at last. Well done, Leo. Off we go! Let's get going, everyone. It's not long till four o'clock, and I promised someone their clock would be built by then. There. This should keep the giraffe safe in his home. Just the last few walks to come over, Leo. Where do you want these leaves, Bob? That's the giraffe's food. Just put it over by the viewing platform. Can you lift over the last few rocks, Lofty? Okay, Leo. Here they come. Look, Lofty. It's the giraffe. He's here. Welcome to Fix Some Zoo, Mr. Giraffe. Uh, I can't see it. Uh, and I can't move because I've got this load. Wait there, Lofty. I better see if Bob needs my help to get him in. But Leo, he's so tall. Oh, no, I want to see him. Wow, he's amazing. be a gap. Maybe if I get close enough, if I can just peek through. Hello. Lofty. Oh, I'm really sorry, Bob. I just wanted to see the giraffe. <laughs> All that crashing scared the giraffe. He's run off into the zoo. Oh, dear. I've broken everything and made the giraffe run away. Don't worry, Lofty. I'm sure we'll figure it all out. Wendy and Leo, can you repair the fences and the viewing platform? And Scoop, can you help them? Okay, okay Bob. Bob. And the rest of us will split up and find the giraffe. Okay, Bob.
Lofty, get ready to lift the screen. And I'll make sure that Mayor Madison and the Spring City Rockets keep back. Okay, Lofty, lift it up. Hold it, Lofty. Newton, move out. No problem, Bob. Lofty, really carefully, please. Move the screen towards the frame. There. And finally, we can take away the scaffold towers. That all looks nice and sturdy. Quick! The screen is falling! The supports are falling too! Don't worry, I'll help! Quick, everyone! Let's move to a safe distance! Leo, what happened? Why did the supports come away from the frame? And why did the frame break? Uh, it wasn't Leo's fault. It was mine. I left Leo without any help because I wanted to help the Spring City Rockets instead. I am so sorry. But it is my fault. I never should have tried to do such a big job by myself. I'm sorry, Bob. And I'm sorry, too. I kept asking for Lofty's help. Wow. That's a lot of sorries and a lot to fix. So what are we going to do? People will be arriving soon to watch Mila. Wendy, call Muck and Scoop. We're gonna need their help. Spring City Rockets and Mayor Madison, I need you to find something for people to sit on. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! And this time, Leo, I'll make sure I'm there to help you. Nothing. I'm just a tiny bit confused. Oh, no! Why don't you press the undo button a few times? That's a good idea, Scoop. Oh, I think it's woken up. Uh-oh, this is very bad. Enjoying it? I've never seen Leo move so quickly. Come on, Leo, where are you? I really need that wrench. Hey, Bob! Ah, there you are. Have you got my uh, wrench? No, because a robot arm got me. I've been boxed up. It's all right. I'll get you out. Oh, dear. My robotic picking system. It's not responding. Oh, no. I should have never touched it. I am so sorry. Can it be reprogrammed, Roland? Yeah, but that's going to take ages. Oh, we'll never get all the toys into the delivery vans by the end of the day now. Oh. I've ruined Christmas. We'll figure something out. Come on, Robot Picker Arm, get to work. <laughs> 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 
Hey, what if we all pretended to be the robot picker arms? Maybe we could get all the gifts in the vans. That is a great idea, Leo. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Wendy. Lofty, prepare to lower. Okay. And lower. <laughs> no, 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 no. <gasps> I told you, please no. don't scare the horses. Oh, sorry. I, I forgot. This is a racetrack, not a rodeo. of straw bales, and we're done. Whoa there! Bob! Wendy! Look out! That wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Where are my racehorses? Uh... They went that away. No! They're heading for the racetrack. We'll never catch them now. I think I know how to get those horses back. Wendy, Leo, get ready to close the paddock gate. Scoop, come with me. Come on, partner. Let's head them off at the pass. Hey, well, not you too, Bob. You're talking nonsense like Leo. Sorry, Scoop. Just head for that gap in the fence. But Bob, how am I meant to keep up with racehorses? Especially extra fast, extra difficult to catch ones. We're not going to race them. We're going to use our own talents. Remember, they're also extra nervous and scared of machine noise. Oh, yeah. Hold up, Scoop. Wait for my signal. Let's go! Good work, partner. That was extra noisy and extra brilliant. You know, Bob, I think I might be a thoroughbred machine. Here they come. Ready, Leo? This is your chance to be a real cowboy and round up those horses. I... And they're in top gear. Don't worry, I grew up with horses. Here's what we're going to do. Lofty, extend your crane arm as far as you can and as fast as you can. We're going to make a barrier and steer them back into their paddock. <gasps> it's not fast enough. It's not going to reach in time. and Muck are on their way. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. And that's why we always wear a safety hat on a building site. I know. Should I sing Lofty's lifting song next? Well, I lift in the morning and I lift in the evening and I lift in the afternoon, which connects the morning with the evening, which is how time works. Everybody! I... I'll never wake him up. We shouldn't have stayed up all night playing spa... That's it! Space Robots! Attention, Space Robot Muck! Bob the Builder needs you! <laughs> I'm awake, Space Captain Leo! Come on, Space Robot! We've got a build to rescue! Hyperdrive to maximum! 
I lift things up, then I lower them down. I lift things up, and then I lower them down. Seventh verse! Everybody! Stop! Why? Because, um... Because here comes <gasps> Bach! Yes! Bach! Everyone! I'm so sorry for being late. Well, you're here now. So, Lofty, let's get these pods fitted. What happened? We stopped for a quick rest and we fell asleep. We were tired because I kept us up all night playing space robots in hyperspace. Space robots in hyperspace? Yeah, it took ages to reach the top level. We love space robots! But we've never made it to the top level. Can you show us, Leo? Yes, go on then, Leo. Thanks, Bob. Yay! Yay! Right. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! Space Captain Leo, are you going to take a turn on the wheel? <laughs> there are too many bricks here for me to carry in one trip, Leo. That's okay, Scoop. We can get Muck to carry those. Um, where is Muck? I haven't seen him in hours. <laughs> <laughs> Muck, what are you doing? Hey, Scoop! Catch this! Scoop, no! <laughs> now get this one! Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I want to turn. No, Lofty, not you too! Slow down, Lofty! I can't! So that, you see, is how I survived the icy dangers of the frozen north. Thanks, Tutan. You're very welcome, Bob. Well, it looks like they've started cleaning up. They must be almost finished. Oh, 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 oh. That doesn't sound good. <gasps> Oh, dear. Sorry, Bob. I did try to warn them. Don't worry, Leo. Scoop! Stop! I go, Bob! Neither can I! What are we going to do? I think the first thing would be to get this bunch off the ice. Oh, thanks, Lofty. Your turn now, Muck. Yes, Wendy. Thank you. Should I start my engine? No, uh, no. Uh, please don't do that. Just leave everything to me. Ready? Here goes. But what nobody knew is that something strange lurked in the woods. <gasps> then what happened, Leo? I can see a campfire. That must be Leo. Oh. 
grumbled and grumbled in the darkness. Oh. It had eyes so big and bright they could blind you, and a cry so terrifying that it could turn your hair white overnight. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> don't be silly, Ma. Put your lights on if you're scared. Huh? Oh. Ah. <gasps> Don't be so silly. And please let go of my hand, both of you. I was just trying to make you feel safer. I think we should stay here till the lights have gone. Should I hold your hand, Leo? <laughs> <laughs> Something silly. And we've lost Dizzy. Let's roll. A problem. The parachute is torn and there isn't a spare. Stella can't go into space without her parachute. Otherwise, she won't be able to come back home safely. Hmm. <gasps> Bob, I think I know how to fix it. Lofty, really carefully, please. Well done, Lofty. Phew. Let's get over to Mission Control. Are we ready to launch? Yes! So, is Stella gonna go up now? Is she? Oh, I can't wait! You just need to be patient, JJ. Here we go. All together. Ten, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six 